Welcome back to Lily in Spain channel and today I want to talk about places that I've lived in Spain as I've lived in many places and I would like to share my personal experience living in different places in Spain. So which places are we going to talk about? Uh, we're going to talk about Córdoba, Sevilla, Málaga, Marbella, Madrid and Barcelona. So stay with me. <laughs> As some of you already know, uh, my journey in Spain has started in Córdoba. Uh, this is the town uh, where I, I studied uh, and I completed my master's deg degree in international business. Uh, this is the place, the town that is considered the hottest town in whole Europe. So it's true, like in summer the temperature is above uh, 35 usually is around 40 some days it can get even close to 50 degrees so you can imagine the landscape is just desert <laughs> you can see some olive trees though <laughs> but don't expect much uh, many plants and a lot of vegetation this is not the place uh, so uh, what about my experience in Cordoba? Uh, as some of you know, I'm originally from Russia, so I came uh, from totally different environment and total different, totally different society to uh, this southern Andalusian town, uh, very like interior, very traditional, and like real like deep Spain. <laughs> so it was very different from my previous experience and that helped me so much to develop my uh, communication skills I think uh, so when I moved there I was so shocked how much people talk there they can talk about everything non-stop switching topics just all the time and you can spend many hours talking about everything and about nothing at the same time so it was a very interesting experience. I did like the town. It's very beautiful. You have amazing, uh, amazing examples of uh, southern architecture that uh, was inspired by Moorish culture. So you can visit uh, so, such uh, nice places like uh, Mesquita, the Cathedral of Córdoba and uh, Old Town and Juderia. You will love these cute little streets uh, in Old Town. You will be totally blown away if you visit Mesquita. Uh, so I definitely recommend you to visit this town. The thing is, I got tired of Córdoba because it is a small town and I was going all the time to the same places and I saw the same people all the time. As a foreigner, I also felt quite observed and sometimes I felt weird because some people treated me as if I was a creature from another planet. As you can imagine, it's a very traditional small place where are no, no, not many foreigners there, so uh, you catch attention as a foreigner. And yeah, I just got bored. I, I was coming from big city in Russia and uh, uh, Cordoba uh, didn't offer enough opportunities for me to develop my career, to develop my, um, my I don't know, to meet people from different places and to have enough variety in my life. So most of the weekends I was spending in Seville, which is uh, the closest city to Cordoba, very easy to get from Cordoba to Seville. That's why I was traveling on weekends and I was spending my time in Seville, which is a very energetic, vibrant Andalusian city. It's a capital of Andalusia, so you can imagine, you can experience proper Andalusian culture there. And you can meet a lot of people, you can enjoy flamenco shows, you can enjoy great food. And I love Seville so much. It is so beautiful. I definitely recommend you to visit if you haven't been there yet. So it was a place to enjoy, but I, I never felt um, 
and I still don't think that I would ever live in Seville because I don't know I didn't feel that this is my kind of environment even though I love it so from Cordoba I decided to move to the coast and I chose Malaga first time I visited the city I was very disappointed uh, I didn't like it at all but when I moved to Malaga I swear I was falling in love every day with the city I love it so much I still recall the city a lot and probably I'm gonna get back <laughs> because this is the city where I felt cozy where I felt energetic where I felt welcome uh, so Malaga is has these coastal vibes and is a city is not a small town so there is a lot of life on the streets and uh, I did enjoy the vibe the general this this general vibe in the air the city is very chill it's like for me the city is associated with the word joy like people really enjoy their life so much uh, you can see uh, all the bars and restaurants every evening, they're full of people, people socialize, people meet each other, you can easily meet people on the street, it's an amazing city. So I left it uh, because of my work, because the career opportunities are very limited in Malaga and um, there was no room for me, so that's why I moved even though I didn't want to move at all and I moved to Marbella next step in my life, Marbella so Marbella is a very famous town you probably heard about it many times and it is associated with celebrities and stars even though nowadays is not so true anymore um, it kind of became a popular town for some tourists and also for drug dealers <laughs> so the environment is very weird I found it very dodgy myself <laughs> I found this environment very very dodgy yes and uh, I didn't like it at all it didn't feel Spain it felt just some random coastal town uh, even though I had amazing flat, the cost of life was low and uh, with my salary I could enjoy my life a lot uh, I could go shopping every week, I could, uh, I don't know, go to restaurants every evening and I never felt tight on budget so this is a very positive point even though the environment it is um, not my style of town, I didn't like it so that's why I decided to move to Madrid uh, Madrid to the capital of Spain is a very vibrant and very dynamic city full of crowds everywhere very, can be very stressful as well and super hot and also polluted city that's the thing that I didn't like the most about Madrid about how I felt there in summer I felt awful <laughs> I felt awful I couldn't stay there anymore because of uh, the heat uh, mixed with pollution it was killing me I felt I didn't have air I felt lack of oxygen I was suffering even though on the bright side I did enjoy Madrid nightlife and I loved gastronomy it's an amazing city for uh, going to restaurants and going out I think it's the best in Spain actually and the vibe in Madrid is totally different from Barcelona, the city where I live now uh, because it's more classy, it's more elegant, it's more chic, it's more... yeah, it's another level <laughs> that's the thing that actually I like about Madrid um, and if you like classy cities, you would love Madrid and if you like, if you're foodie, you would also like Madrid it has so much to offer so even though I don't like Madrid for living, but I like it as a city for visiting. So, the reason I moved from Madrid was this climate and pollution and the crowds. I was getting stressed and I didn't feel it was my vibe. 
uh, just because I don't think that my personality and my expectation match the capitals, the big capitals. I don't see myself. But maybe for you, it would be a perfect city. You never know. Uh, so from Madrid, I moved to Barcelona because I really wanted to get back to the sea and my coastal life and enjoy my time on the beach and enjoy the sea and I don't know to have more air <laughs> because in Madrid I really like the air in summer so I moved to Barcelona and first two years were good I wouldn't say amazing uh, even though I had amazing weekends outside of Barcelona I really love the surroundings and I still love them like the mountains the national parks you have so many places to visit and see outside of the city is unbelievable. And honestly, like you don't even need to invest a lot of money to enjoy every weekend and feel as if you were on vacation. It's incredible. The surroundings are so beautiful. There are forests, there are mountains, national parks, rivers, lakes. You can find so much variety. And definitely, if you move to Barcelona, you need to explore the surroundings. If you love the nature, you're gonna be blown away. So, Barcelona <laughs> is a very interesting story. First two, two years, I really liked the city. And then, with more time I spent, more decline I had in my attachment to the city. Uh, yes, of course, I got used to some things. I, I uh, started treating some things as granted, like access to the sea and to the beach. It doesn't wow me anymore. It, in fact, the past year I went to the beach maybe two or three times because I got used to it. But yet, I really value the access to the sea that it has. Uh, but uh, yes, as I said, my interest and my uh, appreciation of Barcelona has been declining over time so with Barcelona actually I cannot complain about my overall experience of the city it was very positive overall uh, as I really developed myself personally and professionally and my life has changed so much and myself I'm totally different person from who I was before Barcelona and the change was positive I really started doing sport I started doing hiking uh, I uh, started eating healthy, I lost uh, weight because in Madrid I gained a lot of weight and uh, I learned many valuable skills. I met very inspiring people and amazing entrepreneurs from whom I learned, I've learned a lot. So, and of course the friends, I have so many international friends here and uh, this is so important but there are some downsides <laughs> of Barcelona like increasing uh, cr criminal situation is really bad now uh, I mean there are many pickpockets and there have been always pickpockets in Barcelona <laughs> for many years already but now it's getting more violent and I don't feel even safe in many parts of Barcelona like there are some bad events happening almost every day and it kind of changed so much from what it used to be the city because it used to be safe and another thing that the prices are increasing every year and the prices do not match the salaries here so this is another big reason to for a change for me so as everywhere, there are some positive and there are some negative uh, sides about the city and I'm going to talk about it more in my future videos so you can have a better overview and I'm going to share with you my experience as well. So if you are interested to learn more about uh, living in Spain, different places and some tips, uh, subscribe to my channel and if you liked the video, just leave me a comment about the places that you have visited in Spain and what was your experience in Spain.